Hello, this is Mr. Kent of MrKent.com and here you can see me uh, starting my uh, my flight of a flight I took at the park the other day and uh, you'll notice that the power level of the battery is at 89% and uh, it'll stay at 89% for the next uh, several minutes so <laughs> uh, the point of this video is to show you the trials and tribulations I went through uh, not too long ago. First of all, let's uh, uh, let's go and take a look at what I had recommended as a balanced charger, and uh, you'll see me making a video of how to use it. Well, here I am with this new balanced charger that I had recommended people to buy, which now I don't recommend that you buy it. Uh, I'm making a video on how to use it. And uh, and so later on in the video, I'm charging a battery with it, and that battery had been discharged using this uh, balance charger here. And in the process, the balance charger got really, really hot, and so uh, that was unusual, especially since I was only discharging at one amp. And uh, so later on in this video, as I'm uh, charging a, a battery, the... Um, the charger starts beeping and I get a uh, battery disconnect right in, in the middle. Actually, I was to the balancing part. And so uh, when I decided to uh, stop and then take a look at what the voltages were, uh, I was surprised to find uh, what I'll show you here next. Well, in this picture here, you can see the voltage of cell number one in the... Uh, battery that I was was charging with the uh, with the balanced charger I was demonstrating and uh, this is the voltage that ended up when it when it uh, gave me the warning and uh, if you know uh, I was I was charging a, a LAHV or high voltage um, uh, lipo and uh, so it, if it was fully uh, charged up it would have been uh, I think 4.35 or something like that uh, volts but uh, uh, this is supposedly where it was level and now this is the reading that I get on the uh, on cell number one so uh, uh, a, the bottom line of a of any lipo battery is three point I think 3.7 volts is the standard voltage whether it's a, uh, a LIHV or just a standard lipo and uh, a standard lipo, uh, the uh, the battery voltage, the maximum battery voltage is I think uh, 3.7 volts, and on a LIHV it's uh, 4.35 I think. So what happens? The LIHV has a wider range of voltage, which is why you can get longer uh, flying times out of it. But here I am with this with this issue, and. Um, so I got online and put up a video and I says, a little warning, what you may not want to buy that battery charger. So I sent it back and uh, then I decided, okay, uh, I'm going to take this battery out and I'm going to run it all the way down. And uh, the very first uh, Bebop battery that, uh, that went bad on me, uh, I couldn't get it to charge because the cells were so unbalanced. And the only thing I could do was just run it until the, the battery was almost uh, down to the bottom, you know, down to like 10%. And then, in that case, all of the cells would be pretty closely balanced. So then I put it on the, uh, on the standard block charger that you get from Parrot, and it charged just fine. But in the process, that's when I learned I wanted to start going to a balanced charger. So on this battery that had this low cell and two good cells, I thought I better go just fly it at the park and uh, get all the, get the the uh, discharge all the way down to uh, where they're equal and then see if I can balance charge it. So um, that's what I did. Now I want to show you something, so stand by and I'll get that up on the screen. All right, this is the telemetry data from the flight <clears throat> that we started this video with, and remember it had one bad cell. And it was like it said, 38% and, and so forth. But uh, the total voltage for about the first five minutes was, as you can see, 
uh, 55 minutes in or 55 seconds in at 3 minutes and 53 seconds still at 89 percent and then finally about five minutes into the video it started going back to normal and as you can see you can look up here or you can look down here at the bottom but uh, it flew for 29 minutes as if it was fully charged and yet uh, that balance charger told me it, there was a problem and that uh, my little battery voltage uh, device uh, told me it, it, it was uh, not charged up but something weird was going on and I uh, I don't know I can't say what it was I don't know what it was but uh, uh, anyway it flew for 29 minutes and uh, I went uh, up and down the park it was a very boring flight and I went up and down the park and uh, flew and flew and flew and then brought it home put it on my uh, balance charger my standard balance charger because I sent that other uh, Chinese thing back so uh, let's take a look at what I got when it was fully charged all right here's my old standard Tenergy uh, lipo battery charger balance charger and you can see that the uh, voltage on each cell came up and came up to 4.2 volts each and uh, so <laughs> so that was almost a full charge uh, a full charge would be 4.35 uh, I think it is and uh, I think that let me see 20 uh, I think the difference is 150 millivolts if I'm not just off the top of my head but uh, so when I when I put this into the uh, into the uh, voltage meter when I put it on the uh, the drone it registered 99 percent because it's not 100 percent so this charger here my regular old TB6B will charge a uh, LIHV battery up to 99 percent it won't go above the 4.2 volts for some reason but that's okay because now I don't have to buy a new charger and also the uh, the other thing to keep keep in mind is that uh, when you if you just hook a charged up battery to a TB6B regular old charger uh, it'll tell you oh it'll give you a warning says over voltage in other words you can't you can't just hook up a charged up battery to this it, it has to be discharged below uh, the cell voltages of uh, uh, I think uh, 3.7 or something like that or anyway this will work this this charger will work and uh, so uh, I don't know I think uh, I think the the um, the if, if you don't want to spend any money any more money on a balanced charger just keep the one you have and uh, go fly your uh, drone now if I wanted to put it at a hundred percent I would probably hook it up to the block charger that comes with the bebop but if I did that I'd probably get a green light saying you know it's close enough 99 percent I haven't tried that yet so I hope this has been helpful and um, if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask and put them in the comments and uh, I uh, want to thank you for watching and God bless you